Part 1. You will hear a woman booking a room for a party at a community centre. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 4. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Hi, good morning. My name's Pete. How can I help you? Hi, my name's Maria Lincoln. I understand you hire out rooms in the community centre as venues for parties? Yes, we do. We have various sized accommodation. It depends on what you're looking for, really. We're looking to hold a party, a children's birthday party, and we need a room that will hold about 70 people, with space for a small disco area, games, dancing and food. Well, we have a large room, and it would certainly hold at least a 100 people comfortably. It's used a lot for parties and things like that. That sounds as if it might be suitable. I've tried various venues, and they're either booked up or they don't hold enough people. Can you tell me when you were thinking of holding the party? I know it's short notice, but we wanted to hold it Saturday week. That's September 15th. Well, let's have a look. Uh, hmm, yes, you're in luck. The Mandela Suite is free then. I'll just write that down. M-A-N-D-E-L-A. -E and the time. When were you thinking of holding it? In the afternoon, from 3.30pm to 9pm. Yes, OK. There is no smoking on the premises... And we're only licensed to have soft drinks. Oh, that's OK. I think I'm happy to go ahead. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. Can you just give your postcode? Yes, it's PA57GJ. Fine. And the flat and street number? It's flat number 40 and the street number is 35. OK, so that's flat 40, 35 Beaches Street. Yes, that's right. And a contact number? My landline is 223279 with the code. But I'll give you my mobile number, which is 07897293381. OK, 293381. Um, can you tell me how much it will cost? It's quite reasonable, actually. It's £115 for the hire of the room, with tables and chairs. But if you want to hire disco equipment, we've got a basic system with speakers and other equipment for £25. But there is no technician around in case anything goes wrong. And, of course, it's optional. Oh, that would save us carting something from home, but maybe we should bring a spare sound system just in case. We've never had any problem with the system, but you might not want to take any chances. What about catering? Well, we had thought of getting everyone bringing something. We have someone who can do catering for £9 a head, including the cake if required. That's handy, but it's a lot as we have a fairly tight budget. So, you want to go ahead with the booking? Yes, certainly. OK. I need to take a deposit of £30, which is refundable. The balance needs to be paid two days before the event at the latest. Fine. You can cancel up to two days before, but after that you lose the deposit. We don't intend to cancel, but is there any insurance we can take out? Yes, there's a, a form here somewhere. How much? It's, uh, oh, let me see, it's only £9 for the 24-hour period... And that covers you for cancellation, damage and injury. Well, 
At least we'd better have a look at it. How would you like to pay the deposit? Cash. I'll just give you a receipt. Uh, there you are. Ten, twenty, thirty. Thirty pounds. Uh, Maria Lincoln. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm really glad I found somewhere. We have been trying to book a place for the past two weeks, so thank you again, and uh, bye for now. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spob. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video, as this will enable me to help more old students reach their old goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.